All right, good morning, everyone. We are sitting in the front yard of the future home of the Hyattsville Police Department. Um, when the city purchased this building more than a decade ago, we did not know at that time that this would be the future police and public safety building. So you can imagine that we are excited because it is going to be adapted to become the home of our brave men and women who serve, support, and protect our city. This is the best fit for this building. It's centrally located, which means that the police department can get to all areas of this city pretty quickly. And it's a big building. There's a lot of space inside, and as I understand it, there's going to be space for some mental health and behavioral support for our community. And I think that is a fantastic idea. We want to have the facility and the resources to not only be reactive, but proactive. And we've talked about uh, sort of progressive policing. To provide this community, a great community, a great community, uh, with the idea of thoughtful policing that keeps the community safe. You know, as me, as a black man here in Prince George's County, you know, I led the police reform work group along with my friend, Delegate Juanica Fisher, uh, here in Prince George's County, uh, to be able to, br to bridge the divide between the police department and our communities. And this building is a significant portion of that that's gonna drive that, that's gonna make sure that we bring our communities together to work together to solve these crimes. You know, it's not enough to just say we need curfews, but we need resources for our people. We need resources for our students. And this building is just gonna do, do that. We're hoping to be able to provide mental health services, not just to the city of Hyattsville, but surrounding jurisdictions. And we're hoping to become a regional training center for surrounding jurisdictions. One of the cool things about this building is that we have done everything that we can as a city to be fiscally responsible and good stewards of our tax dollars and ensure that we repurpose an existing building rather than spend money tearing a building down and starting all over and building a brand new building. We're going to do our best to incorporate a lot of the architectural features of the, the original bank, including the vault, into our future plans for the building. This is a pivotal moment for our department, our police department's capability to serve this community, build relationships, and ensure that our staff are properly prepared and trained for any emergency or catastrophe that this city depends upon us for.